10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm Dr. Daniel Cobb, director of Mecca Tex, M E C A T X. Today we're going to be making a short video on how to use the DJI mission pads and the DJI carpet that you see on the floor and back here. <clears throat> These are quite complicated and it's very hard to find information on them. So what we do is get information from friends around the world uh, and uh, ask them questions, get answers back, and then test them, and then see if it all works for us. So the first thing that came out in this Tilo world, which is now Robomaster Tilo Talent, are these mission pads. They came out with the T, uh, Tilo EDU. Tilo EDU um, package. It came out as a package and you've got four of these mission pads that came with it. Okay, the mission pad looks like so and they have colored circles, they have a figure on it which for a while we weren't sure what they were but they are now numbers. That's a ID number of this mission pad, M1, and then we have the little planets and men and little tick marks. Most of that is just plain decoration except for the planet which is facing up. So that's either up or basically in the XYZ axis that is your X plus. Okay, so that would be the top. This would be the bottom and so on. So in here you have your X, Y, Z axis and that comes from the absolute center. The center there would be X, Y. So we've got X, I'm sorry, X, Y, and Z. And Z is the altitude. So as we go up, we have positive here and negative here. Okay, then we have positive here and negative here. Therefore, these are the numbers from center. So most of these with the TILO are gonna be working with centimeters. So if you're gonna fly from mission pad one to mission pad five okay you would have to tell it how far you want to go so all these drones when they take off they will hover for a while to take a picture and get oriented to that part of the ground okay in this case it'd be the mission pad one and then depending on the height and the field of view depend on if it can find where you have mission pad five. So let's say one's over there, five is here, it's gotta be high enough to see. You have two cameras on the teal on the Roadmaster. A forward camera, which is colored, high resolution, and a downward camera, which is <clears throat> black and white, and relatively low resolution compared with the forward camera. So you do have to set it to say if you want it to lose one camera forward only or downward only or both. The advantage of setting it for both is that it can see forward with the field of view and then downward with the field of view. So you've got two fields of view so we can see forward quite a ways at a certain altitude, okay? Now, what people have been trying to decide is what is important. How did DJI and these other companies set all this up for computer vision? So this gentleman on the internet had done some research for various reasons. One, can you print your own? Or do you have to use the ones that come from DJI? He found that you could not reverse print. 
white versus black. Okay, it only works with black background with white. <clears throat> it doesn't need the color, okay? And it doesn't need all of the ornamentation. All it needs is where is the top, okay? So he put the number up here and he printed a certain number of these. One of his goal was to save ink. Takes a lot of black ink, so he wanted to print some white ones. That did not work for him. So anyway, now you can download this from the internet, okay? And you'll see the color is gone. It's just black and white and shades of gray. People are still working to some extent to find out if the shades of gray are important or not, or if it can be just black and white. And here, you'll see on the DJI carpet, it's more or less just black and white. So that implies that probably just black and white would work. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. And go over the carpets. The carpets come in three meters by three meters and five meters by five meters. So you have to work with a meter. And here is a foot ruler. So we calculate, for the students, easy calculation is three feet equals about one meter. So this would be one meter high, that's a hundred centimeters. Then we go up three, four, five, here we're up to six, okay? So that'd be one meter, two meters, so this would be about 200 centimeters. So on this one here, we've got it up to make it easier to demonstrate. These are exactly the same as a mission pad. Except the mission pads are numbered one to eight. This in the instructions from DJI is number 12. So it's M12, mission pad 12. You can see DJI has got their logo on there and right smack dead center is a little cross and that is dead center so that would be x okay y and z there so this is nothing but a bigger mission pad much larger however it is probably the dots that are important the pattern of the dots, not these little constellations, stars and so on. This looks a little bit like Cassiopeia uh, and so on. So basically, probably not any of the ornamentation is important. What is important is absolute center again right there. Okay. And then on the mission pad, uh, the flight carpet, this is called DJI flight carpet, which you really can't buy right now in the United States for some reason, okay? You'll see little tick marks. Here's a tick, here's a tick, here's a tick, here's a tick. That is a square, okay? Here's a tick, here's a tick, here's a tick. That is a square. And over the whole carpet, you'll have those little tick marks. Those are 30 centimeters apart or about 15 inches. So you can use that somewhat to tell where you're at, okay? If we go from here to there, we know we're at 30 centimeters. From here to here, we know we're at 30 plus 30, 60 centimeters. If we go up here, we know we're up 30 centimeters. X plus down here, okay? or over here would be x minus or minus x okay so basically the rest of this stuff is probably not of a lot of value in the computer vision part so it pretty well explains this you can see that this is a three by three meters so you don't see it but it looks like a, uh, a drone, 
up on here will be a circle on the five by five meter one, and that circle, and a circle there, and a circle there, and a circle there, that's how you know it's a five by five meter carpet. If they cut it down, you cut it down, which is what we've done here, to three by three meters. Okay, so this is a three by three meter, okay, and what we did is take it and set it off and have it made out of a shower curtain. Okay. We actually are taking these um, to party stores and printing them as uh, the banners that you get for happy birthday, congratulations, so on, at party stores. One of the problems that we found is that our space is limited both in classrooms and in buildings that we work with. So we've got to find a way to make them smaller or cut them down. The gentleman that we're working with, Hackey's on Tilo Pilot, sending us lots of information uh, on it. His recommendation is not to change the ratio. In other words, to make sure that 30 centimeters on the one you print is 30 centimeters matches the DJI carpet, okay? Therefore, you don't have to start playing with ratios and so on. That's what we're going to start working on is see if there's any way to make them smaller, okay? Now, obviously, those who are interested in computer vision and learning the coding can do this on their own. So basically, uh, there are other companies working on this, on the um, unmanned land vehicle, Robolink, which was the first drones that we got to get into this uh, years ago on the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. They're actually ro working on a little robot on wheels. And uh, they are fairly far advanced in their programming uh, in with what they can read. Their programs will actually read a QR code, for those of you. Uh, in a video a while ago, we talked about QR codes, and that can be uh, uh, left, right, and so on, and that command from the QR code can be put into your coding, and it will tell it what to do. So it comes up, reads a QR code, says turn right. So anyway, now let's look at the one on the floor. Okay, and you have an exact replica of this. This one was actually printed in China, and we got it last January uh, from China. Uh, we've had a hard time getting it working, so today we're going to demonstrate, hopefully, uh, at least a short flight uh, into coding on how to do this with the TILU EDU app. You'll see it's exactly the same. The recommendations are, number one, do not put your program near the corners, okay? Two, on the borders, there's kind of verboten. Do not do it, okay? So, the other thing is they have to be far enough apart. That was one of the reasons a lot of people failed with the mission car uh, pads, is that they didn't know how to set them up. So there are instructions on how far apart and basically how high you need to fly. You have to be high enough, depending on the camera setup you're using, forward vision, downward vision, to see the next landing site or the next mission pad or to recognize it. Once it recognizes it, it will fly to it and hover there until it gets another command. Okay, so you can use all, all eight mission pads, or you can use one like this, and what we're getting into, uh, and have been working on for about a year, uh, is swarm drones, where you actually fly more than one. So what we're trying to do is work on systematically, learn one, then two, and then four. We're up to four drones now, and then most of these companies that are selling these as swarm drones work up to 10 drones, and now the newest ones that come on the market, uh, probably this summer, 
I was going to be 10, 20, 30, and 40 drones, and they will be outdoors. So an outdoor drone location factor is totally different than indoors. These are not GPS and so on. These are all by <coughs> markers on your landscape. So these are indoor drones, indoor uh, flying and programming that we're talking about. If you move outdoors, it's a totally different world. So that pretty well concludes this, and we're going to have Alex show you, uh, pick up from where he was last week, and how to set up uh, one drone and then uh, fly it hopefully from one spot to the next.